It's just about 20 minutes before 3 a.m. and we are getting on the Hurricane Hunter, taking our seat on a mission right into the hurricane. Surface light is starting to climb up here. Looks like we're going right towards it, but head in and exit out the southwest side. From our takeoff off the coast of Savannah, Georgia, it will take us more than three and a half hours to make it to the churning storm, more than 1,100 miles at sea. That's an impressive southeast quadrant. Yeah. 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 The Air Force Reserve 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron from the 403rd Wing have equipped this WC-130J to hunt hurricanes. One minute to the bumps. It gets quite bumpy as we approach the inner bands near Florence's eye wall. Pretty cool looking eye. We are rocking and rolling in the turbulence, dipping like a roller coaster because we are not flying around or over this hurricane. We are flying right through it at about 10,000 feet. We're all safe up here, but look down that tube. That is a hole in the plane dropping 10,000 feet down to the Atlantic below. Good drop there. Proud of you. Thanks, man. This is an example of an RD-94 GPS drop zone. It is literally a probe that will go into that tube, shoot out the bottom of the plane into the hurricane. A parachute pops out the black top part, and it sends its data right back to the engineers on board. We're going to go ahead and uh, do an eyewall drop here. It's reporting back to the plane of, uh, three times a uh, second. Dang, this is a huge eye. Uh... We watch the data pour in, but they're also receiving via satellite in Miami at the National Hurricane Center updating the path of the storm. Is there any other way to get this type of information, like from a satellite or from radar? Absolutely not. Uh, satellites are great, obviously, but we can actually go in get kind of a three-dimensional view of what's going on in the storm. At the same time, there's a fairly new technology back here. This is a bathy thermograph. It'll follow the back of the plane out of that launch tube and hit the ocean surface and deploy a probe. And it measures ocean temperature, how hot the ocean is, how much energy is available for the hurricane. That's right. Nav, Navy, buoy wind. The Navy and Coast Guard watch the temperature come in. Look at that sea surface. It is over 80 degrees. That's as hot as a swimming pool. Wow, it just opened up here. You can see the entire sky now. As our mission ends, we get a surprise. The storm has replaced its eye and given us a show. So we're in the eye now. Yes, we are. Welcome to the eye. Got the eye. We're going to start turning here pretty soon. OK, Roger. winds are falling. Let off, please. Let me show you something in here. We can actually see the blue sky. That's because we are inside the eye of Hurricane Florence. Sunshiny, beautiful weather nothing in here for about 30 miles. We see the sky because the atmosphere is literally trying to balance chaos with calm. The most violent sections of the storm are spinning out and the calm center is all that's left. Like a planetary merry-go-round, the outside horses are the fastest ones. And in the center, you're barely moving at all. Science. How do you like doing this? I love it. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a dream job. Uh, growing up, I'd always kind of thought about doing this. I absolutely love it. From inside the eye of the storm, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.